Mummy, you've burnt my pie. I, I don't have time for it. I'll Google you. Bad review. Bang, bang, it's book reviews of Niall Phillips. Bang, bang, it's book reviews of Niall Phillips. And today we're reviewing this. Bang, bang, it's Lullaby. Oh, God, this is a monster of a book. And I suggest if you're in it on your own in your bed, tuck them before work the next day, you have some form of... Iron gating on you, some form of armor, a hat, and a shield, and maybe even a little, a little runny sword, or a dagger, or some kind of pylon. <sighs> You've burnt my pie, and now you're talking. God, breast be the law, breast be the law, breast. This is the 2000 and whatever I've forgotten book by Leila Slami Simali. <laughs> this is a super book, but now <laughs> I like pie for several reasons. It layers you. Mm, mm, mm. Have you put pepper on this? Oh, you know. I detest pepper. Like I detest your negative energy flipping around this house since 1960. Oh, whatever. Because pie, there's the crust. If you, oh, get, get me a knife, mummy. She's doing yoga again, no doubt. She ruddy loves yoga. Just eating pie. Look at my notes. So we're reviewing this book today. It's based on the French set. It's been adapted. It's been updated. It's been printed. Whatever. It's got a Shakespearean theme to it, and that would be predictable and read the first part, because everyone reads the first part. This is how the book starts. The baby is dead. It took only a few seconds. And that's how the story begins. If you genuinely think people are reading that and they're not reading on, you must be barbaric, barmy, be boisterously bonkers. Yeah. Alliteration. Yes, please. We love alliteration. Ha! The story. It's about a nanny, a husband and wife called Miriam and Paul, and they're rich. Cash, cash, money. I say this with a, with, 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 in, uh, 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 I think, um, uh, what's it, magnifying glass. It's a social commentary. That's what this book is. And they're rich, and they're all this money. He works in business, she works in this. They're successful. They don't want any foreign people looking after their baby. Oh, how dare you? How cheap of you? Stop breathing so heavily, mother! I'll breathe that loudly. Potato. Potatoes were uh, a thing invented by somebody who just went, life isn't good enough. It's not good enough. Enough, I want it to be better. Potatoes. Mm. Easter, mummy got me an egg. I was unraveling the egg the foil before I got to the to the chocolate goodness. <laughs> As I was unraveling the Easter egg foil, the the, 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 the foil being unraveled like, like a naughty person in a sports gym taking off their sweaty clothing. <laughs> Pies, please. I'll have some more pie. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, what's that there? Carrot in my pie. So, as you're unravelling it, you get to reveal what's really underneath. And I think what's underneath is a murderer. Social commentary for me is about power, race, gender, class, who's got the more money, who's got the most dough, you know, the most cash. Cash, cash, money, cash, cash. Okay. Owe me £14.50, mother. Don't dare talk to me about money. £14.50 from last Monday. And I have not forgotten. A crust in there. Look at that crust. Huh? Whoever doesn't put gravy on their pie should be sent to prison. The natural suspense builds up through this text. What the writer does so beautifully is it makes you feel something for the person. It makes you, even though you know they're a murderer, because you find out on page one, Louise takes refuge in a children's bedroom. She spends a long time lying next to Mila. Her. Mila. Her. Caressing her temples and her hair in the blue glow of the blue glow of the night light. She observes Adam's face, surrendered to sleep. Her. 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 Again, alliteration. Yes, please. All over this bookie, walk, 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 bookie, 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 walk, 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 bookie, bookie, walk, walk, walk. Device by the writer, because then we start to go. No, 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 no. I've just burnt the roof of my mouth, but I don't care. No, no, I'm too busy eating one of the best pies I've ever had in my whole entire life, and I don't care if I burnt the roof of my mouth. I don't care. Not one bit. I'm too busy enjoying myself like a rock star at a rock gig, rocking out, playing rock music. In comments somebody meant to me, uh, I was really on YouTube, I was really, I was really, no, you're so crazy! The only job as a nanny you're paid to love, which I think is very interesting. I've got something in my beard. Oh no, it's a grey hair because I'm getting old and fat and boring. God, bonus! Now, the reason why you need to read this book, Lullaby, is because of the characters and how you start to shift and change. Oh God, and her demise starts. After two nights of anguish, she feels ready to start work again. She's lost weight and her girlish face, pale and gaunt, looks as if she's been beaten into a narrower shape. Language, yes please. Um, she does her hair and makeup. She calms herself with layers of move eyeshadow. Why I think you should read this book is because you start to put your own conscious. I've just burped, I apologize, I'm so. 
Hi! <laughs> you start to think, you know, yeah, she's murdered children, but I, I, I kind of like her vibe. I kind of want to do yoga with her. No, you mummy. No cheap mummy bear you start to think i want to go to yoga with her and this is why i think this book should be read by you i am going to give it <laughs> 10 out of 10 darling this book's getting a 10 out of 10 lullaby by Layla shimali this is a very very good book that is a very good pie and i suggest you fix up darlings as we always do end on on niall phillips book reviews and some questions on youtube or instagram tv or on twitter on social media hayley in south london <laughs> god unlucky has asked me this how many turtlenecks do you have? Oh, good question, darling. Oh, I have 14. I have one for each day over a two week period. I have 14. A rare of colours and textures. Mummy bought me one recently, but then she made me pay for it because she's a liar. Go to your local bookshop, read this book, and have a thoroughly good pie. Pie's very good for your soul. Pie, chips, gravy. I also imagine loads of northerners will be getting involved in me eating pie. Well, I'll tell you this for nothing, pie boy. I don't care. My pie, my rule. Oh.